We start this week in the heart of London, a busy, bustling city with a severe traffic problem. Last year, a congestion tax was introduced. It's not a place you'd normally think of as a motor racing venue, but hundreds of thousands of Londoners turned out on a sunny Tuesday evening to watch Formula One cars being driven on their streets. The display had to be limited to a narrow course marked with barriers for safety. The course was up Lower Regent Street with the Houses of Parliament as a backdrop and around Piccadilly Circus and Regent Street. And two nearby tube stations, Piccadilly Circus and Oxford Circus, had to be closed because of overcrowding. I think it's a good opportunity for the, for the crowd to get really close to the cars. Obviously we cannot do the speeds as quick as we do usually on the racetrack, but uh, just to hear the noise from really up close and to see the cars from real, really, really close, I think it's a unique opportunity and obviously in such a central area here in London must be, I think it's going to be a nice show for everyone. Beside Cristiano, there was Minardi's Zolt Baumgartner, Ferrari's Luca Badur, former world champ Nigel Mansell on a Jordan, McLaren's David Coulthard, Juan Pablo Montoya, Jensen Button and former F1 driver Martin Brundle in a Jaguar. I'm ready to go. I got in the car last week and within a couple of laps I was flat out. And then I came in and the engine guy said to me, he said, it has the power. And I said, it's too slow. I mean, when you're flat out in a couple of laps. But uh, I've always said that. I like power and uh, I'm afraid there's not enough of it in a Formula One car. Britain's newest Formula One hope, Jensen Button, was impressed with a number of spectators lining the temporary circuit. Okay. Fantastic. I, you know, the turnout's amazing, and we're just in the first 50 metres of the circuit, so uh, it's great to see so many people here to, to support it. To drive around London as well. I mean, God knows how many times we've been here, but not in a Formula One car. I know, it sounds hilarious, a Formula One car over there starting up when we're in the centre of London, but it's, uh, it's amazing, and I'm really looking forward to it. And does David Coulthard believe the event's worthwhile? Yeah, it is. As a British driver, having won the British Grand Prix a couple of times, uh, to come here and have the opportunity to, to show the Grand Prix cars and not exactly what they can do, but give people a taste of the, the sort of noise and excitement of the acceleration of these cars. To do that in the city of London, it's, it would be a dream to imagine that one day we could have a Grand Prix here. Uh, but if they can do it in Monte Carlo, which is smaller than uh, Hyde Park, there's no reason why they can't do it here. The motor manufacturers involved in Formula One never miss a promotional chance to justify their involvement. The new McLaren Mercedes SLR, Maserati Quattroporte, Honda S2000, Renault, Jaguar, BMW 635 and Ford Cabrio were used to parade the drivers in the run-up to the main event. The demonstration was staged to let Londoners see the cars that raced in the British Grand Prix at Silverstone. First off was Mansell, winner of 31 Grand Prix, the 1992 World Championship and the American IndyCar Championship the following year. The event started people, including the drivers, talking about London having its own Formula One Grand Prix, just like Monaco. As Demata threads his way through the bumpy streets, a driver's eye view shows just how narrow the course is. Minardi Cosworth driver Zolt Baumgartner took the wheel of one of the team's fleet of eight two-seater Formula One cars for the unique event. His passenger was Kylie Flynn, fiancé of high-flying financier Lee Amatus, who bid a staggering $275,000 at this year's Monaco Grand Prix Ball charity auction to secure the ride. William's driver, Juan Pablo Montoya, said he was going to have some fun and make some smoke for the crowd. He described the notion of London having its own street race as awesome. 
Former Jordan driver Martin Brundle, who now commentates Formula One races for ITV and many other English-speaking TV channels, borrowed a Jaguar for the day and put on a crowd-pleasing display. Jensen Button's been in brilliant form this season, reaching the podium at six of the 11 races to date, although a maiden win has so far eluded him. For him, the display proved that British motor racing fans love Formula One. If you say that there was a quarter of a million people there, that is just outrageous. That's, that's bigger than anything we've, we've ever had in Formula One at an event. Uh, so it's, I think it went down very well. The fans were loving it. and. Uh, and so, so are we, you know, it was great, it was great. And, and with the sound between the buildings of a, of a Formula One car at 19,000 revs, it was just, just, a, just, it's just an amazing sound and an amazing feeling because the, the ground was actually rumbling. And finally, organizers had to temporarily weld shut over 100 manhole covers to make the roads safer for the drivers.